Hello, Flash. I need your help. I know you're gonna do whatever it takes to save me, but don't lose yourself in the process. Getting rather violent at your young age. We need to steal an alien power source. The Flash, thief. It's my kind of mission. If we don't use this, Iris is going to die tonight. I can't believe they turned King Shark into a guard dog. King Shark, that's a door. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. In the name of the Speed Force, we need to pull a heist. So the trailer clears up a couple story beats, namely how Captain Cold comes back if he's supposed to be dead in present day. It's really crazy with the timeline, so I'll explain the Legends of Tomorrow Captain Cold timeline as of the end of Season 2 because they clean some things up. He's still around, but there are a couple caveats to that. And there is a new round of the Flash Ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. So even if you don't read comics, you probably remember they reference the name Infantino a lot in the Arrowverse. Carmine Infantino is the person who created pretty much every big Flash rogue that you've seen, even the reverse Flash himself. So even though it's a big Argus, Suicide Squad, King Shark episode, there's a lot of Carmine Infantino stuff happening. The person that created the Suicide Squad was Jim Ostrander, so not quite the same person. But they do explain that King Shark is working for Argus as a guard dog for this alien power source. And it took me a minute to remember because it's been a while since I've seen the episode. But I was like, wait, when is the Flash dealt with aliens? Oh yeah, during the big crossover episode. It's a trap! So that means that this is left over from the Dominators. There are a lot of aliens on Supergirl, but that's just because she's from outer space. There's a lot of interstellar villains on that TV show. Most of the villains from Flash and Arrow tend to be from Earth, but I love the way that they're going to Argus on pretty much every show. Argus is also a big part of the Arrow puzzle the last couple of episodes in Prometheus's plan for Oliver, but I'll talk about that during my Arrow video tonight. But I always get a lot of questions about King Shark. Anytime there's a big character like Grodd, the big CG characters that are really, really big comic book characters, they always find a way to bring him back. It looks like they're successful because he powers the weapon up in the trailer. It takes a shot at Savitar. But that feels like one of those last final moments that pushes them into the finale. Like they're not going to defeat Savitar and then just stand around for an hour in the finale. Obviously, there's going to be some big twist we'll probably still find ourselves in this moment here where Iris is getting ready to die with some twists though. I know a lot of people are like, okay, what if HR is the person that dies? He has that base changing technology. This. Oh. oh um, let me just. Well, I, what did you do? Did you just neuralize us? No, I gave you a simple retinal adjustment so all of you can see me, HR, while the rest of the world sees Randolph Parkin. There are a number of ways to explain how they can still be in this moment here and Iris can die without the actual Iris dying. Captain Cold though, which version of the character is he? So it looks like he picks him up outside the Wave Rider, so Barry has to travel to some point in time. This seems like it's during season one of Legends of Tomorrow when Captain Cold was still alive. He died at the end of season one, but then over the course of season two, Heat Wave started to hallucinate him, but then the reverse flash pulled him out of time into the present when he was still evil, brought him to present day, but then they fixed everything at the end of that season, took everybody back to where they belonged, reset their memories. So the last point in time when Captain Cold is alive now is right before season one of Legends of Tomorrow when he joins the team on the Wave Rider. So the only way to get Captain Cold's help now is to travel to some point before he went on the Wave Rider, like an earlier version of the character, or travel to somewhere during the Wave Rider's timeline. So it looks like that's what Barry's doing. He's just traveling to somewhere during the season one Legends of Tomorrow timeline, grabbing him, and then he'll bring him back at the end of the adventure. Totally love Wentworth Miller. It's all about Barry doing bad things to try and achieve a good end. So Captain Cold is having a lot of fun with this. Ooh, Barry, a heist. This is my kind of plan. This is going to be fun. There was some more footage in the other trailer that I posted, so I'll link that at the end of this. But the big thing now is wrapping up the Savitar plotline, getting rid of him in a way that will allow Barry to come back during Season 4. 
as well as sort of solidifying what the new team Flash is going to look like. I think we might lose HR, but we'll gain Tracy Brand. So Killer Frost is really like the other big piece of that puzzle. If you saw her in the elevator where her eyes went back to normal Caitlyn eyes, that seems like what she's going to look like during season four. Danielle Panabaker, the actress, said the only thing that's really hard about doing Killer Frost is wearing those blue contacts. She said that she can barely see when they're in, so it sounds like they're going to take the contacts out so that it's much easier for her to walk around and interact with the other actors and do her scenes. So it's actually very doable for her to wear that makeup all the time through season four. Julian at the end of the episode was a big part of that too, confessing his love for her. So I think they're trying to leave the door open to Tom Felton if he wants to come back for season four. We could get Julian, but typically people don't get really big happy endings like this. Barry kind of gets a happy ending because I think that Iris is going to survive. But they've been really quiet about what's going on with Tom Felton's future on the show. And he hasn't said anything about whether or not he's going to be doing another TV show in the fall. There is a movie that he signed up to do, but it's a relatively small indie movie like Grant Gustin did last year between seasons. So I don't think there's any scheduling conflicts preventing him from doing season four of The Flash. But you guys can let me know. Do you think that Tom Felton will come back and play Julian in season four? Or do you think they're going to write him off the show? The thing about Arrow is they did confirm they were going to kill multiple characters and we only really know about one character on The Flash that's probably going to die. But it could go either way. I think he's done a good job this season. He's been a relatively interesting character, but I'd like to see some big plot line from him in season four if they're going to bring him back. But part of the fun of The Flash is in seeing multiple versions of the characters. Like we've seen so many different versions of Barry because of the Savitar twist this year. There's always a crazy number of Harrison Wells. The only real version of Cisco that I haven't liked this season so far was the really mopey version right after they came back after Flashpoint. I feel like Cisco, the last couple of episodes, like the way he's acting, that's genuine Cisco. That's the version that you want. You want him to have that pain inside of him, that tragedy, because it helps give his character a lot of depth, but you don't want the characters to be super mopey and bummed out. Even Killer Frost was making fun of Savitar for brooding too much. Brooding time is over. We need to become gods before he puts her in the chokehold. So there's a whole bunch of stuff happening the next couple of weeks on the DC TV shows as well as the other superhero comic book shows. So what I'm going to do next is there's a really big Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost Rider video that I need to do to get everybody ready for the finale. Then there's new Arrow. I'll post an episode video. I have a bunch of new Spider-Man. These are basically the videos that I'm working on for like the next day and a half or so. I'll try to get through that stuff as fast as possible. But as long as you have alerts enabled, you should be able to get everything whenever it posts. So I'll try to get through it as fast as possible. So just make sure you click that little bell so you don't miss out. But while you wait for that, click here for that brand new Flash footage. And you can click here for my Flash episode from last night. Thank you so much for watching. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.